Hey, what's up, YouTube? Brian here with Cichlids Northwest. Just chilling on a uh, Saturday evening. Sitting here in front of the tank, enjoying it. That's about it. Thought I'd share some uh, video with you guys of what's going on here. This is my 125, and uh, most of these guys are my um, nice ones in here that I'm trying to grow out. And this tank is a work in progress, but I've got some of my favorites in here. I put a couple more pieces of lace rock in this thing. I've got uh, quite a few pieces of that stuff. I like it a lot. This is just a crushed coral and sand mix. And um, it does a good job. I cleaned this tank, I vacuumed the gravel and stuff probably at least once a week. I just enjoy it. It's kind of uh, relaxing for me. Some people are like, no, nah, too much work for aquariums. I hear that all the time. I don't have time for that. Well, I make time and I just kick back and enjoy it. Yeah, it's a little bit of work, but you know, when you're spending time uh, with what you love, it's not work. And it's going to sound crazy, but you get to know your fish the fish have personalities in their own weird way they do and you get to know their behaviors and and uh, all that stuff got my azurius back there is looking nice my OB here is looking good he's colored up that guy is but these other two aren't really my uh, red empress my uh, flame tail nagara there two of my favorites I've got a crab row growing out got my tangerine tiger he got in it with somebody I don't know who but he's got some nips on his fin uh, always one of my favorites my big boy autopharynx tetrastigma he was my breeder for quite a while decided to stop breeding him and just enjoy him in the big tank here I've got a lot of these guys for sale and I've even got some growing out I've got another female holding ton looks like she's just full probably 40 50 fish 50 babies so I've got plenty I've got a couple of star sapphires down here those are going to be cool as they grow out got my dolphin manda I really like them I've got uh, a male and two females in here there's this black ACI there Zurius wants to say hey again uh, Got a Lawanda there. My red fin Borley eyes looking better all the time. I have three females in here. You know, just uh, something I've learned that works for me at least when uh, I'm doing, trying to get certain fish to color up. Uh, for example, the Borley eye and also my, uh, this guy here, the Electra. I put females in there for them. So the Electra has, uh, I think, four little females. You can see some of them here. Uh, that guy's probably a male. He's actually got a little blue on him. Um, so he's probably got three females. I'll have to keep an eye on that guy. I just saw a little bit of blue coming off the side of him there, but we'll see. Anyhow, so on the uh, uh, Electra and then on the the Borley eye here, he's got an nice big females in here I've got three of them and he's getting better his uh, I lost my best guy in 
that uh, frees out. But this guy is uh, a close second, and he's coming along pretty nice. I'm liking him. I've got some Mangano in here. Um, we've got Freire in the back there. He's starting to look good. I got, uh, what, two, I think, two female Venustas in here. I'd like to get a male again someday. My had two uh, male Venusas die on me and that freeze out again so I know I keep mentioning that but that's where that's what happened to them I've got uh, Cobalt Zebra in here I've got a couple uh, Yellowfin ACI I've got a black ACI that can be a pain sometimes I've got a little Demason Eye Love the red empress man. He is just a just a super super nice fish. Oh I got the blue neon there. I've got um there he is up here. This guy has one female on here. He is an exasperatus. There's the Chizamulu Island right there. Uh Asta Tilapia Coloptera got a little chuary in here somewhere somewhere uh, he's not colored up yet but I'm one of these people that don't mind mixing Ambunas with my peacocks and haps I don't mind it I think if you take your time and you know you're in this hobby it seems like you're you're always moving fish or whatever you know to try and get the perfect uh, balance and fit for them or someone gets you know one of them gets picked on or whatever but I'm always moving fish but uh, I don't mind putting them mixing them all I've got a white top Hara in here there he is in the front there little blue guy there but like I said the only females that are in here are for my uh, Borley Eye, the Red Fin Borley Eye, and the Electra, just to encourage them to color up. They were both kind of down on the the rung of uh, dominance there, you know, for a while. But they're coming along. I'm liking it. I've got some really nice OB coming up one of them in particular has a lot of red on him that I'm excited about he's just a little guy so it's gonna be a while before I show him there's the female exasperatus right there kind of different fish they're not uh, extremely popular in the hobby but I've seen them around here and there Got my Kenya and got a nice little batch of Kenya from my other little breeders. Those are growing out, but I'm going to be selling all of those. Probably won't be breeding those again. They're pretty common, but I wanted some for myself. I really like the bright yellow they bring. Uh, I've got a white Sokolify over there. He's been fighting with that Mangano on here. I gotta watch that. Anyhow, that's a nine minutes video, so just enjoying the tank, thought I'd share. Hope you guys liked, and uh, give us a, a, a shout on Facebook, or comment here, or subscribe. We're also on Instagram. Just gotta look us up on uh, Cichlids Northwest, and we'll come up. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.